Yo, what is good everybody? It's your boy a Wild and Gerald here back again with a YouTube video. And today, in this one, guys, we have the brand new signature cards in the game. And boy, we finally got Ezekiel Elliott. A lot of people thought that this card was gonna be saved for the Thanksgiving promo, if not a most fear card. And holy shit, we finally got an upgrade. Signature series, baby. This makes me think that he's gonna get another one in like the winter promo. Due, due to the timing of this one, because now that it's close to Thanksgiving, I feel like he's not going to get a Thanksgiving card, but maybe he still will. It's possible. But before I jump into the video, just want to let you guys know, every single week I run a 100k giveaway, 100k coins, no matter if you're on Xbox or PS4, all you guys have to do to enter is go into the description below, click on that giveaway link, like, comment, make sure you're subscribed to the channel, and then turn on, the, turn on that notification bell, that way you guys don't miss the giveaway vids or any of my other Madden videos. Um, and then other than that, if you guys are looking for more entries into the raffle, all y'all got to do is like and comment on this video, previous videos, and future videos. And the more you comment, the more entries you'll earn. So that is that. Now, boy, we finally got a nice Ezekiel Elliott. I just kind of checked him out on the auction block, and his stats are a little interesting. You guys can let me know. I'm, I'm a big Packer fan, so you guys can kind of already tell where my stance is on Ezekiel Elliott. I think he's an incredible running back. However, I like Aaron Jones. I, I'm not going to scoop Zeke, but for all you fans of Ezekiel Elliott, I'm going to show you guys off these stats here. It's a pretty good card, if I do say so myself. He's going for 5 million coins right now. That's insane. He just dropped, so that's why. 6 feet tall, 87 speed cell, 92 agility, 85 carrying, 70 catching. 85 elusive, 83 chucking, and 90 break tackle. Let's check out his like juke move and stuff like that. I think they low-key did him a little dirty with with his uh, speed and acceleration. Because even chemmed up, you're not going to be able to hit that 90 speed threshold. So that's kind of unfortunate. However, he's still going to be a nice little user card. Um, but he's just not that fast, unfortunately. He's not... He, like, still... With Zeke in the game, in my personal opinion, Saquon Barkley is still a better card if you guys are looking, especially budget-wise. If you guys are looking for a really good running back, Saquon Barkley is still a really, really good card. Um, and I have him personally. I, you don't even need evasive on him. You just got to get good with user and your stick. Now, wait, wait, did I just go buy it? Juke move, spin move, there it is. And stiff arm. Stiff arm, okay, so he's got really good ball carry vision. Not exactly sure what that's going to do for you. Elusiveness, that's really good. Stiff arm, almost at the, I mean, once you get that, shit, I guess if you power him up, he's going to be a stiff arm, a stiff arm G. He's going to be like Jim Brown, uh, maybe a little bit like, uh, what's his name? Uh, I don't know why I'm blanking. Bo, Bo Jackson. Uh, but then he's got 86 spin move and 90 juke move. So this is kind of like an all-around good card. He's going to have his, his weak spots with the, like a little low speed, but he's still going to stiff arm everybody. Um, let's see here. His injury's good. Stamina's good. Catching traffic's good. Spectacular catch is low-key pretty good for a running back. I think that's pretty good for a running back. Let's let's, let's compare him to Saquon here. <laughs> so, I mean, th these are 92s matching up as 92s, guys. So, look at these stats. If this doesn't explain to you what I've been talking about, I don't know what will. This is Saquon Barkley's going for 200K, or he was, two, 250 maybe. And then Zeke is going to be a couple million for a while. So let's see here. Um, I was curious about I was curious about the spec catch and stuff. So his his catch in traffic Saquon is just an all around really good card, guys. I don't know. I mean, in my opinion, Saquon's the better card. Now, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of this Zeke card. I know a bunch of people were jacked about a Zeke card. Finally, we get it. They finally did us nice and, and gave us a Zeke. But the other signature series card is going to be Levante David. Now, this is a pretty good running back card. In my opinion, if I had 880k right now, I would have purchased this already. Because I think this middle linebacker card is going to be up over a million. And I think I can make some good change on it. I mean, this is really, really soon in the promo. When I first looked up this card, this was the only one on the block. I'm actually surprised that nobody scooped and tried to flip it. Because, I, I mean, if you buy this at 882k, sell it for a million, you're making 100k coins. So, Or, say you sold it for 1.1 million, 
then you make 100k coins. So I, I don't know. When you when you pull, guys, when you pull these signature cards, throw them up for as much as you can off the rip. That's what I recommend, at least personally. So, what this card is going to bring you, let's compare them to Shazier here. <coughs> I apologize. If you guys have been watching any of my other videos previous to this one, I've been telling y'all I'm in sick as a dog. Still very sick. I wish it would go away, man. I came down with pink eye like four days ago now, and I still got to deal with that. I'm dealing with a whole type of respiratory sickness as well, so it's it's been a lot of water, a lot of vitamins. I'm trying to bring, drink a smoothie every day. It's uh, it's been it's been tough, but back to the video here. So here, Levante David is going to be lacking is that speed, which is a little unfortunate as a middle linebacker. You want that speed, however, still a not a bad card. He's got really good tackling, really good play, much better block shedding, and better. Better zone coverage than Ray Lewis. Um, not better than Ryan Shazier, of course. Uh, what else? His power is pretty good. 85. That's not bad. This middle linebacker card is honestly just really expensive. Personally, you could probably better find some better cheap options. But for you Buccaneer fans, here you go. Here's your Levante David. Not a bad card whatsoever. His block shedding is 87, like I said. His man and zone coverage is pretty average, so that's unfortunate. But he's got like see this is this is these are the stats that you guys gotta look for. These are the filler stats. The stamina and the injury. Very much so filler stats for Ultimate Team. So 94s for each is a little bit of a stretch. That kind of helps him get to that 92 threshold. Hit power 85. I think I already said that. His press is 52. That's better than Ryan Shazier. Uh, what else? I think that's about it. I think that's about it. The other card I want to show you guys. Really quick was um, that most feared card that's on the. I can't remember his name now. I gotta go look. Um, let's see here. Let's see here. Calais Campbell. I'll show him off to you guys real quick. Right, you're looking at a seven minute video or so. So I'm gonna show this guy real quick. Let me know what you guys are doing preparing for series three. It's about to drop, I believe, tomorrow. Um, it's, I don't know what I wanna do. I have a bunch of trophies. Oh shit, I think it's P. Campbell? Cam Campbell? I don't know. Shoot. We'll find out. Oh, it is a P. Okay, but let's go 92, 93. Let's just check this card out. What? He doesn't have one on the block? Really? I think he's a right end. I'm going to check. Let's, let's check. Is he just unpullable? Nobody has him? There's Aaron Donald. That's weird. That is really weird. I just saw a Call of Duty tweet, so that, that took my eye away. But I think that might just have to do it for the video, guys. Let me know what you guys think of the new signature cards down below in the description, man. In the comments, let me know what y'all are thinking. I don't know. I think it's a nice. I think they're nice cards. In my opinion, I think Zeke is an all-around back. If you guys love Zeke, then definitely get him. He's not. He's not going to be a detriment to this team or anything. However, you won't be able to get his limited time card unless you're chucking out checks. And for a running back, not the greatest idea. In my opinion, in my opinion, Saquon Barkley is still a better back. If you guys are looking for a cheap back, Saquon Barkley is by far the best. So that just might have to do it for the video, guys. If you guys did enjoy, drop a like, comment, and subscribe. Remember, the giveaway is in the link in the description below. Make sure you guys click that like and comment on that one the more entries you get by commenting on this video the next one and previous ones so if you guys did enjoy drop that thumbs up i'm gonna catch you guys in the next one peace out